Hi all, welcome to Salesforce in 5 minutes. In this video, we are going to understand how to update a record from an Einstein bot, from the, based on the response of a customer in an Einstein bot. But before getting started, if you really like my videos, I request you please subscribe to this channel. So in the previous video, what we did was we asked a question to an end user saying that do you want to connect to an agent, view case detail or close the case. And if the customer responses back that they want to close the case next based on the response we are moving them to the close the case dialog and in that case dialog we are just asking them the case number now in this video we are going to actually take the case number from the end user as a response and then we are going to update the case status to the closed so for that purpose what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a flow so let's create a flow new flow And let's create an auto launch flow. I'm going to make it free form. So one thing you have to make sure that if you are you want to call a flow that is a particular flow from an Einstein bot, it should be an auto launch flow. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the case number from the flow or from the Einstein bot and I'm going to transfer it to a flow and then update that particular case and that's it. Let's pull out the update records. Update update the case to closed okay now in this case specify the condition and i'm going to uh, create uh, take the case object and i'm going to search a particular case based on the case number so because what i'm going to do is uh, the customer is going to provide the case number to us right so we are going to take the case number and first for that purpose we are going to create a variable named as case you know right we have created a variable of type text and <coughs> in order to pass the value from an einstein bot to your variable inside the flow make it available for input now what's going to happen is this variable is applicable basically this variable is viable so, uh, so that any any other uh, automation tool like process builder apex class or even uh, or a component LWC component can pass the value inside even the Einstein bot can pass the value inside as it's available for input so I'm going to done uh, save it so based on the case number we are going to find a case and then we are going to make its status as closed let's click on done and let's connect it <coughs> let's save it close the case using bot and let's save it i'm going to activate this flow now basically this flow what is what it's doing is it's just finding the particular case based on case number and if found it's just updating that particular case status to closed now next what i need to do is i need to call the flow from our einstein bot so that's what i'm going to do so in the close the case dialog i'm asking the case number so whatever case number the customer is going to provide it's going to get, st get stored inside this variable named as case number of type text. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to call a flow. So to call a flow, you can just go to the actions and call a flow. Now, my fl flow name is uh, close the case, right? So the cl close the case using bot. So here, as this case number variable that I had created inside the Einstein bot, if you go to this uh, flow, I've created a variable named as case number as it is available for input. It's showing me, it's allowing me to pass a value from an Einstein bot. If you see input case number, now this variable is available to me to pass the value from Einstein bot to the flow. So I'm going to pass the value that is the case number that is going to be get provided by the end user. Now, once that is done, let's click on save. Now, what's actually going to happen is first we are going to go to the welcome. It's just going to greet us. It is going to go to this is test dialog. Inside the test dialog, it's going to ask a question. What are you looking for? View case details and all that stuff. So if customer type back close the case, then it's going to uh, the rule is going to work and it's going to if the customer has response back with close the case, it's just going to get, take us to the dialog named as close the case. Inside this close the case, we are going to ask them which case they have to close. So the customer is going to provide the case number whatever case number is going to get provided we are going to store inside this variable 
and this variable value is been passed to this case number variable of the flow the flow name is case close the case using bot and inside this flow what are we basically trying to do is we are trying to find find the case uh, with that particular case number and it's updating the status to the close so let's first of all find any kind of a case random case okay let's consider this 1037 case so if you see right now this case status is new so i'm going to take this case number copy it and then i'm going to pass it to my Einstein bot so let's preview it first i'm going to say hi next i'm going to say close the case so as soon as i'm going to say close the case it's going to ask me the case number so i'm going to provide the case number okay now previously if i had been to the case right now the status is new now if i refresh it the status of the case must be updated to closed as my instant bot has done it so if you see the status of your Einstein bot is closed. Basically, it went back to the next uh, dialogues, uh, message one and condition not satisfied because the operation of this particular dialog was done. So as soon as you provided the case number, it went to this flow, it updated the case and it came back to the previous dialogues. But basically, it worked, right? It updated the status to close from new to the closed. So this is how you can interact with an uh, with the flow using an Einstein bot and update the records using an Einstein bot. If you found this video helpful, I request you to please subscribe to this channel.